Wenatchee Valley real estate market update for December, 2022. Hey everyone, it's Nick McLean, owner of the Nick McLean Real Estate Group. And this is our holiday edition because the real estate market has been doing lots of crazy little things and looking back in time, hindsight's 2020. And we've noticed some trends that we want to share with you right now. See, the snapshot came out and it reported that sales are down 25%. So that was a shocker to me. I knew the marketplace had slowed, slowed down with the increase in interest rates, but I didn't know by how much, but a quarter drop in activity level, that's su substantial. That's really substantial. So what's causing that drop in activity? Well, interest rates went up, causing affordability to go down. So Typically 30 to 40% of all buyers are first time home buyers. So a third of the marketplace took a took pause, pumped the brakes on the real estate marketplace, right? Because they got priced out of the market. They have to wait for prices to adjust or interest rates to go down. Good news, interest rates have gone from seven to about five. So now we're seeing some buyers head back into the marketplace, but you hit the increase in interest rate at the same time you get a seasonal trend. And so we went from summer market, fall market to winter market and the holiday marketplace. So we're seeing a down, like we're seeing a slowdown in activity because of the marketplace. Well, that's normal, but you combine that with interest rates, that's abnormal. So what's actually going on? Well, anytime you see demand go down, you see, you see inventory go up because homes are on the market longer and they don't sell. We're seeing that inventory is up 118% from last year but it's not really like out of control. It's not a runaway train. We don't see inventory just coming on like I thought it would because a lot of sellers aren't putting their home on the market because of the seasonal trends. So I kind of forecast, I predict January 1, February, definitely March, 2023, you're gonna see a lot of new inventory at the marketplace. So if you're a buyer, that's great for selection. If you're a seller, that's not so great. Because if you're thinking about selling in the future, you're going to have a lot more competition. So you might think about putting your home on the market during the holidays to beat the rush of competition in the future, which is going to have downward pressure on price. It's really going to, it's going to affect the price of your home. So by waiting a year, you might be, if you're an average sales price of $600,000, if you wait a year, it could cost you $30,000 just by waiting. So you really have to do that cost benefit analysis. Now, if you're going to wait, what I recommend you do is I would start preparing your home for the market because it's going to be a lot more competitive. So buyers are going to be looking at not just one home like 2021, where it's like multiple offers. They're going to look at like 10 homes in April, 2023. They're going to go on a home tour. We used to call it a home tour where we'd show buyers homes all weekend and they would pick the best one. And they pick the best one based on quality, condition, location, experience. So think about that and start preparing your home for the marketplace. Now, what's happening with prices? The average sales price is 566 in Wenatchee. Okay, that's interesting. Well, that was the exact same price, average sales price in March of 2022. Let me say that again. The average sales price today is the exact same sales price it was in March of 22. Nine months ago, exact same prices. So what have prices done in 2022? Well, they went really high and then they flatlined, right? So we've actually saw, looking back, the peak, right, was around, you know, was right around May, May or June 2022. That was the peak. So now we're kind of unraveling that now during the seasonality. Prices are softening, going down which is causing homes to be on the market longer, which means the offers people are getting are less than full price. So I'm showing you right now, list price to sell price ratio, list price to sell price ratio. You're on the market for 100, what's your offer gonna be? 96%, you get your homes on the market for 100,000, you're gonna get an offer for 96,000. Your homes on the market for a million, you're gonna get an offer for $960,000, makes sense? That like not long ago, Six months ago, that was 101%. You're gonna get over full price. Right now, not over full price. Well, what affects the price you get? The, what affects the price you get is the marketing and the demand you create. So marketing is more important than ever because you just can't put a sign in the yard and it gets multiple offers. You gotta be, you have to have an agency that knows marketing, digital marketing, social media marketing, how to attract buyers, not just in town, but out of town, Seattle, Bellevue, Redmond. You really gotta, Hone in on that and have an expert in the field, someone sharp as a tack that understands marketing. 
no agents aren't created equal. They're not the same. They don't have the same marketing budget. We know this, right? We we're working in a Leavenworth, Wenatchee, and Schlen. We know where buyers are coming from and how to get top dollar. Otherwise, it's going to cost you five percent, right? Five percent on a million bucks is fifty thousand dollars. So you don't want that to happen to you. We peaked in March. Now, where are we at in inventory levels? Because there's the market, then there's the micro market. Micro markets are fifty thousand dollar increments, and a seller's market is inventory below six months. A buyer's market is inventory above six months, right? And if you look across the board, we're still a seller's market. A million to two million bucks, four and a half months of inventory, but that's rising, right? Uh, homes between 600 and 800, three months of inventory still. So it's still a seller's market because people aren't putting their homes in the market in the, in the winter time, but that's gonna change in 2023. So I, I predict that that's gonna be double in spring of 2023. That's gonna be double, which is gonna be an equal balanced market, buyers and sellers probably favoring a buyer in the spring of 2023. So that's the forecast based on the trends I'm seeing today. If you guys have any questions about the real estate marketplace, if you see this on social media, comment, subscribe. We post new content all the time. If you wanna get in hold of one of our agents, call us, go to our website, nickmcclainrealestate.com, click on home value to get an online home valuation, or maybe you wanna just look at the new inventory at what, uh, that's out there, so start your search. Wenatchee, East Wenatchee, Leavenworth, Chelan, Moses Lake, and beyond. We serve this. We service all of North Central Washington and Central Washington. If you want advice on what to do to your home to prepare it to compete in today's marketplace, give us a call 255-8070 and we'll go over to your house and tell you what to do. We'll look past your holiday supplies, your holiday decorations and get to like the staging component and the, and the repair component of everything. So happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. I look forward to working with you and your family in the future.